Hello guys and welcome back. Tonight's location is a church at East Norton and it's dedicated to the All Saints. It's a grade two listed building built in the Norman period. There is a small west tower of three stages with a recessed spire which was added in the 14th century. We don't have any information on any paranormal happenings at this location. But we decided to check it out because we never know. We might get lucky with activity but if we don't, it'll just be a lovely explore. So please stick with it. Please enjoy. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight's location, we are in the All Saints Church of East Norton and we're going to do a paranormal investigation. Just ask if any spirits want to communicate. We have the plasma ball next to the altar just to give it a charge and ionize the air around the altar. we are not got any other equipment next to it because we don't want it to falsely positive uh, set the devices off. We also have the ion detector sat on the organ seat just in case any potential energy is around that location and we have the REM pod sat behind on a table next to an old chair just to see if it will collect any spiritual energy what's potentially around we also have a spirit candle behind dad with two ping pong balls next to that and two ping pong balls on the step there so there's a lot going on we're just going to and a full spectrum camera just in case yeah. normal I on a bit on yeah, the full special camera on. Uh, we'll see, we'll just sit down, we'll set some chairs up. Dad's got a chair, I've got a chair, we're gonna sit down in the dark, just ask some questions, listen out, and see if we get any responses in this old, magnificent looking church. Do you feel anything at the minute? No, I think it's quite good in here. Yeah, it's lock the door so no one can come in. Yeah. And it's got lights on. Got lights on, so let's. Well, you know where you're coming then if you get kicked out. Let's knock lights out. Oh, no, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, very, very different, isn't it, when it's dark? Uh, yeah. We have got that little bit of light coming from that device, the little spirit candle, and the ion. Well, no, plasma ball. No. So let's sit down. Yeah. Let's sit down and start up. Let's ask a few questions. Is there any spirits here tonight that would like to make contact with us? We come in peace and with full respect. We don't come to damage anything. But we would like to make contact with somebody who's passed over. And maybe answer some questions for us. So if there is anybody here use the energy from the plasma ball i'm sure you can detect it if you are here use that energy to communicate with us i forgot to tell you guys we also have a k2 sat next to the bible just up there if it goes off we'll see it it's not gone off since it's been there there is electric running through this place so we'll take it very Lightly, if we do get anything on it, if there is a, any spirit here or any persons that can hear us and wish to communicate, could you make a noise, please? Could you knock? Could you knock on wood? Those hear you. Let us see you. In the view of lights, walk down the centre aisle of the church so we can hear your footsteps. That would be great. Could 
knock one of them small round balls off the step at the back that'd be amazing if you can do that did you hear that? that was fast up it was it? yeah oh it sounded to me it sounded echoey like it was a like, faint knock over there it did there. sound echoey Would you copy me by doing this? Come on spirits of your head, don't be shy. Were any spirits from the graveyard outside? Could you knock on the door? I'm Jamie. I'm Rory. We're here to try and find proof that the afterlife is real, that heaven and hell is a place. So if you know this, let us know please. Could you move a page in the Bible? Could you possibly walk towards us? If our energy scare you, just stay back from us and make a noise. We won't come to you. Are there any organ players? Do you like to go and play on the organ behind me? Or could you knock them ping pong balls off that step? There is a small device on the table behind me, behind the organ. If you can, go over to the metal stick or the antenna Just move it, it'll play some musical sounds along with some little red lights. Anything? I know nothing though. Very right, yeah. quiet. Yeah, but it don't always happen instant, does it? No. But there's no to say it is haunted church, but... I think energies. You'd think there would be, though, wouldn't you? I think energies can many pass through. People what have been through on the services. Yeah. You know, and then they've been buried in the graveyard. I do believe they can pass through, but it's not necessarily mean they have to be here constantly, does it? Oh no, no. But you'd think if there was going to be an haunted place, it would be a graveyard. Yeah. Where people have been married. The question is, can they can a spirit enter the church from the graveyard? Let me see why not. If it can run about, it could perhaps go anywhere, couldn't it? Let us know, spirit. If you can hear us and you would like to communicate and you know answers to our questions and our conversations, 
Please jump in and say what you believe or say what is true. You're going to know more than we know. Show yourself near the altar for me please. Brighten this up a little bit. Is there any vicars that live their life service in this church? Could you make a noise for us please? Oh, I had a whistle, but I don't think that was your your breathing. That was you. Could you do it again? It feels like something's behind me, you know. If you are behind me, could you let me know? Could you knock? Knock on that wardrobe with the mirrors. Poke your head round. Let us see you. You're not a threat to you. We're just here to document the afterlife. You hear anything? No. I've been watching mm. around that curtain, so everything down there. Just in case there's a little peak of somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> the sun was shining and it's peaked on that. Yeah. <whistles> so you don't whistle in the graveyard after midnight. What about in the church? Was it all? What? Yeah. Is that spirit wanting to come in? Could you do it again? We know no one's out there because they have motion lights on the side here with the path, and on the other sides. It's long grass, so you ain't gonna be walking through that. So that was a spirit, it could have just been natural. But that was a spirit. Could you do it again, please? Thank you. Could you do something really impressive? Turn one of them lights on.
That happened just after I made the whistles. That's me. So. Is anyone outside that window? Could you make a tap or a knock anywhere in this church? Footprints. Yeah, I was really appreciating it. We've come a long way as well. I don't get the donation. So right now, I feel quite calm. I'm not feeling anything, and I don't think Dad's feeling anything as well. No. So that's to show. Potentially, not all churches are haunted. We don't see why they can't be, but we believe that possibly spirits well, moved on. It? Yeah. It's not cold. But that could always change. We've known from experience that feeling can change. Yeah. yeah. That, that church before we come here. Yeah. That was. Oh. You need a group of people to go there. Let's ask a question. Do you know of the St. Michael's and Angels Church? If you know of it, could you make a noise? Possibly a knock? Yeah, we went to check another church out, what ain't too far from here, in the middle of nowhere, in the woods. You have to cross a, a large field with sheep and that in it. Yeah, very noisy nice sheep. Then walk for a, a thin path through the woods to the church. It's no longer in use, old graveyard, very creepy. And I was asking, is there any nature spirits or any spirits local to come and communicate? And we heard what sounded like a large animal or something coming through the woods but at the time it was coming through the woods the sheep in the fields what was making all the noise was silent almost like they detected that there was a predator or there was something around and there was noise while we was walking about so they, they obviously wasn't bothered about us so knowing dad he absolutely uh bobbed himself and we had to get out of there well you know it was so big and ever it did did scare me a little bit because you're on your own no one knows you're there if it was a wild cat or something you could have us for dinner it could have been or we could have been the first uk paranormal group to capture a live little foot little it ain't going to be Bigfoot in, in England, is it? Our woodlands are tiny compared uh, to... It'd be more like the rake or something. <laughs> yeah, you can grab it, pin it down, and I'll tie it up. Yeah, that would have been good. Imagine the, the... Well, whatever it was, the sound was very close. Yeah. Like, within 15 feet of us. Yeah. And we were shining the torches on it, and we couldn't see an animal or nothing. So was it something invisible to our eyes? 
Well, you never know. Like cryptids, and you just don't know what's out there, really. What comes out in the dead of night, out of sight. This planet's a lot older than we believe, and there's a lot more what we don't know about. So it's always a fascination for us to just what if. And you never know. One day we might capture it, whatever it is spirit or something else. But I feel a bit reassured that there's no known deaths from a uh, dogman or whatever else. But like you say, if they did, they probably won't find you anyway. Well, this village where we are now, where we're coming from, everybody's in bed. Hmm. It yeah. reminds you of the old horror films, you know, the vampire ones. Everyone's in bed slamming them. Windows shutters and then all that. Like yeah, that. looking all before up. before a certain time. <laughs> oh, you never know. There might be some truths to these things. And if you know of any cryptids or any supernatural creatures local to your area, let us know about it. It'd be nice to read up about. But if you look into it, like uh, through villages and towns all across the UK across uh, England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, even other places like the Middle East and even the United States, you've always got stories of lo local legends and um, you know, these creatures and stuff in woodlands and it's, it's just it's a, a thing that is intriguing. There's got to be some truth to some of it. Well, there's always all legends and stories have mostly got a bit of fact in them. Yeah. It's just been twisting a bit. Yeah. But like like I was saying, it's like like UFOs and aliens. Out of the hundred uh, videos you see online, or out of the hundred stories you hear, possibly one of them has some truth to it. But because it gets thrown in with all the, the faker and the lies, it becomes part of the same. So you, you, we don't. We're never going to know. It's, it's just not meant to be. I don't think. But we'll keep looking. Keep trying to get our side of the truth and documenting our explores and our experiences. If there's anything in here with us, could you make one loud noise? If you can't communicate with us, we'll go outside and we'll see what we'd like to communicate outside. So if you are outside, could you knock on the window or the door? Then we will know to go out. Could you do that for us now? Make a loud noise behind Dad. So guys, we've been here for a while now and we've not had no activity, not had no noises, no nothing. So we're going to pack up inside the church and we're going to head out just to ask a few questions in the graveyard, see if anything would like to communicate. If not, hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. Hello guys, thank you if you made it this far, unfortunately because of the weather, the wind picking up and it trying to rain, we couldn't use much footage from outside, but hopefully you enjoyed this investigation, we didn't get no paranormal, but not all places are haunted and there's no saying what time of day or night that the paranormal will happen, so thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this lovely little church and hopefully you can continue following us for more real paranormal and more explores into the unknown. Thank you. Check that church out. Absolutely magnificent. I see if someone's walked through it at some point. I don't want to be catching ticks like Dad says. burials all through here
all through the grass, all the way to the back, around right the other side where we just was. I think we should get moving because the wind's picking up. Yeah. It's starting to try and rain. Well, this Rest in peace, whoever you are. Yeah, we're gonna uh, use this bit for new ones, isn't it? Yeah. And then it'll start shaving the grass down. Turn it up with that. Rest in peace, all of you. You can't follow us. No, you attach, can't follow us. You can't attach yourself to us or any of our equipment. You must stay here.